Good morning. Happy 4th of July. It's beautiful. 76 degrees at 841 in the morning. Welcome. Looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day today for parade and festivities and the pool. Alright, cool. So this is the finished product that I don't think I showed you last week. With this gravel down, we got over 100 and 100. I told you it was so heavy. But uh, gravel's here, fountain, and then they got these flowers. And we put the ferns in back there in the corner. And uh, it looks good. A lot better than that big dead boy. There is 772 horsepower in that garage right now. And 64 valves and 16 cylinders. That would suck. Check it out, he's got curve feelers on. That's all about a hundred thousand dollar Cadillac. XLR. It's fast. You like that color? It's like copper. Colorado, maybe? Old Cadillac. Lexus IS. No, Will. Happy 4th! We just had an awesome lunch. Headed over to the pool now. It is a beautiful 84 degrees. Sun's out. This is great. You can probably see the smart car back there. We're headed over. We're gonna go for a dip. It's an old E420. Don't see many of those around here. The old, old, old man Mercedes. Ah! Oh, we're dicked! Okay, so friggin' uh, it's pretty much piss pouring. The weather around here is crazy. It's beautiful in the morning. At 3.15, it just opens up and pours. It's 3.21 now. I headed home. Good thing I didn't wash the car the other night. Um, forgot how bad this thing is in water. Especially, I don't think I told you guys, my traction control unit got dicked. That's what all those lights are. Turn your lights on, Nissan. It's a uh, state lot. You gotta have your lights on while it's raining. Um, but the traction control unit got messed up when the guy was working with the body up there. So hopefully it's a sensor or something that can be replaced, or hopefully he just didn't plug it back in. But I'm going down Wednesday to Canton to have that fixed in my window on the e-brake. Uh, so we'll get that done. Um, but, you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, the environment. The environment. Well, the good thing is we needed the water, right? So check this out. We've got tons of water on the roads now. This thing is like, without traction control, this is scary to drive. I am being... Unbelievably careful. This is nuts. So here we are to stand still at a stop. If I go into first, and just real easy on the clutch. Like there's wheel spin at 2500 RPM. Second gear, 25. Yep, there's more wheel spin. And with the the DSC dynamic stability control unit dicked over, it it's uncontrolled wheel spin. So you've really got to be careful with that. And that's not hard acceleration. Trust me. These are Michelin Pilot Sport tires with 
well over 50% tread left and they're just not good in water. I've never had trouble with the stability control on, um, but it's not good without stability control on, believe me. Holy crap. Look what this rain did. Oh my gosh. That's as high as it's been all year. Maybe. And now the sun's back out. It's like the Caribbean. It rains. Almost can But it rains. And now it's nice again. So I think I mentioned that my dad did hook up this wiring. I don't know why I didn't do it. It was easy. Let's see if that pump actually still works. I'm going to guess it may have actually gotten washed a little bit. Turn that on. And I didn't hear it click out yet, which means it didn't short. Let's see if we're actually getting any water here. Oh wait, I hear something. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that is still working. Wait for it, wait for it. Come on. Oh, you know what, that valve may not be turned. Yep. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that is still working. I mean, that the electrical out there, that is under a good two feet of water. So, Kenan, my duct tape worked. That's what that looks like. Pretty much got a timer. Line and load down there. It's 220 volts back there. Because 110, by the time we got there, was nowhere near 110. It was like 60. So with 210, or 220 back there, it's closer to 110 which is what the pump's supposed to run on. But I, that's awesome that it still works. I was kind of planning on digging my boots out and going back there tomorrow and working on it. But I guess the pump's still there. And that's definitely going to make the grass grow, which is fine, because that means more money for me. <laughs> uh, let's see what damage it did up front. Not bad. Not bad. I got to mow over there. I was going to do it tonight, but it's definitely too wet now, so I'll do it tomorrow. Um, oh, yeah. Hear it? That's ridiculous. Yeah. That goes there. That is definitely the hardest it's rained this year, which is great because we needed that. And it only lasted an hour. Like it's just about uh, 4.30 and it's sunny and hot and still. Check out uh, this guy's, ooh, really wet. Water's really coming up back there. Wow. So I guess that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I've got to clean this up. It's rained on it twice. It was supposed to rain Wednesday. Now it's not, so that's good. So maybe I'll get this cleaned up then. It'll be down in Canton for probably six hours. And I'm looking forward to getting that stuff fixed. As you can see, I got uh, the one hose is out there. Got both my sprinklers out. This hose goes on the far side of the house. And I was I pulled out of the attic last night when I got down that yard chair. I was to sit at the parade today. Um, and it totally just fell out and got tangled, so that sucks. I'm <laughs> just out here uh, grooving to the salsa. I apologize, Joe. Beg my part. I know you don't like that, but I don't care. So I'm out here getting this cleaned up. It turned into, look at this, completely cleared out. Completely blue skies and 84 degrees. It's beautiful. I'm out here cleaning the car up. Just got everything washed. I'm waiting for my mom to bring out the soapy water. And, um,. Here's one thing that a lot of people don't clean on a car, and I don't know why. Clean it out. Okay, look at this. Perfectly clean. I've always cleaned this up. I don't know why people neglect that. You open it on most people's cars and it's like black with filth. It's like Cleveland. It's disgusting. Okay, so vlog editing, 9.51. I'm getting this stuff done early tonight. Don't have any other plans. I already did the 4th of July stuff. Um, got the car washed. Went downtown. Came back. Hey, fireworks, that's it. So, happy 4th. Hope you guys had a good day. Apologize for the longer video. Do you like the longer video? Let me know what you like. You know, I'm kind of making these for you guys. So, uh, give me your thoughts and opinions on that. Somebody asked they want to know how to drive stick shift. Didn't have time today. I don't want to go out there and do it now. Sorry. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow, Tuesday. And uh, a couple people asked about this, the Yachtmaster 2. This is the two-tone edition 2010 model year. I'll do a little mini review of this. But see, my, my, my macro focus, it's terrible. You can't even read that. Really bad. So maybe I'll do some iPhone video. That's got better focus. All right. Thank you guys tomorrow. Thanks.